I'm a really static climber and I tend to avoid all the dinos that I see. Mm -hmm. But I'd really like to become a more dynamic climber mm -hmm. for two reasons. One is I am quite short, I'm five foot, and quite often I get to the top of a climb and I can't quite reach. And I think if I can use more dynamic movement, then I'll be able to get that extra two inches, yep. reach a thing, and I'll be able to send more. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is, I have never done a, like a real dino dino. Mm -hmm. Like when you see things set where your feet leave the ground, I'm scared. Mm -hmm. I'm old and I don't trust my joints anymore. Mm -hmm. What I see is a world of fun out there and I want to start getting on Absolutely, that ladder. Yeah. All of this stuff is all to do with confidence. Are you confident in your ability to do the thing? So for instance, if I like a really like straightforward dyno, like that's not too big, if I was even a hundred meters up in the air, no rope, whatever, I think I'm so confident in my ability to do that that I have zero doubts. And it doesn't matter the consequence because that's never going to happen. And then there's yeah. the confidence in your ability to handle not doing it. So what happens if I miss the holds or if yeah. my foot slips? What is the, the consequence? And if I'm not okay with taking the consequence, I probably shouldn't be doing it anyway, right? So the first place to start with this stuff is where there is no consequence really. So exactly. really low down, but yeah. you can do super complex movements and learn to trust your ability to do things mm -hmm. without having any consequence. And then once you do have that confidence, you can try things that are scarier and yeah. higher up, but you know it's gonna be fine. That is perfect. That's my, that's my whole idea of climbing yeah. in general. What we're going to be doing is going to be doing little dynamic movements and progressively making them bigger. However, we're going to have our eyes closed. Oh, Aha! no. Yes, oh, I know. No. Can I, I know. Can I do it once my eyes open? So no. Not even once? <laughs> not even once. But I promise they're going to be really little, right? And the consequence of not doing it is like, step. It's, it would literally be like falling off from like here. So like there is okay. zero consequence. Okay. But the point of this is we're going to learn to trust um, our sense of where our body is in space and what we're doing. Something that is super duper common, especially with shorter climbers, is we overly rely on our sense of like sight yeah. to decide how far something is, how far it feels like it's gonna be. You start doing a movement and then you think, oh, if only I like reach a little bit more yeah. and then it changes the movement you're trying to do, which just makes it worse and then not work. And then it, ah, I'm falling or whatever. Let's say I were to go from these holds all the way to this green hold, it seems like a really big move and it yeah. seems like I'd have to go like really, really hard, yeah. but it actually completely depends on where my feet are. Cause for instance, if my feet were on these holds, my hips start here and they'll like finish here, which is like oh. a tiny movement, right? So I don't need to go like, <laughs> that's way too much, yeah. right? What I do sometimes with a wall is I think of my sense of gravity is my belly button. Yeah. And I, I notice where I am and say, Absolutely. okay, it's there. And then I see where I need to be. That's great. That's and say, so, right, awesome. my belly button needs to go from there to there. It's really not that big, yeah? Yeah, so, I love that. So rules for this exercise are, okay. you are gonna be allowed and very encouraged to get into the position we're trying to go to right. and close your eyes and kind of feel what that's like. So we're gonna try to build like almost a 3D image of what we think our body should be in. Okay. And the reference points for that is our feet. If we said we were going to these ones and I said that the start position was now, maybe like these. We're gonna get into our position and straight away close our eyes. We're not even gonna look at where we're going because once again, that's gonna tempt us to be like, ooh, it feels like it's this far, so I need to move this much. Yeah. But when we're here, we're gonna try picture where it was that we were, and then we're gonna do our little movement. Woo! Okay. Missed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? I am most worried about banging my face or any part of me well, on the wall. Even though our eyes are close, how can we know where the wall is and <laughs> where our like that's, where the holds are. That's really easy. You bump your head on the wall. <laughs> without doing that, that's, that's very okay. hard point, but without doing that. Okay. Uh, well, because you, ha you know how far your hands are. With the holds that you're holding, you know where the wall is. Yeah. Obviously, you don't want to hit your face, but okay. if you just like knock about on some stuff, like it, you're going to be fine. Okay. We'll start off super duper easy. We're going to start with our two hands here and our two feet here. Yep. And we're going to go to these two holds. Okay. All right. I'm going to have my eyes closed for a long time. So, I'm gonna open my eyes now and get it out of my system. <laughs> Climb up to those ones first. Now I'm gonna close your eyes. The more we have like, we are stretched, the trickier it's gonna be to catch because we don't have a lot of margin for error. So we wanna be like a little bit of wiggle room, right? And I want to picture how close to the wall you are, how stretched your legs are, how far above your head your arms are, those sorts of things. All right, and whenever you feel like you've got a pretty decent idea of what that position feels like, you can come down. Awesome, you can open your eyes. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab onto the start hold. We're not even gonna look up yet. We're gonna put our feet on, close our eyes. 
And now we're gonna think, this is the position I'm in and I'm trying to remember what position was I in before. And we'll go. Okay. You know, looking up, close your eyes, and then okay. try and move towards it. Great. I did it. Yeah. yeah it actually works. worked. That's really bizarre. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Now just you wait till you see what we can do with this stuff. <laughs> this was like super basic. We just go straight up. Yeah. Now let's add a little bit more finesse. So these two, these two for the start, yep. and moving both hands to here. And we're gonna close our eyes, and I need you to decide where you think you wanna grab it from. Do you wanna be really high? Do you wanna be really low? Do you wanna be somewhere in the middle? Be on and closed eyes. All right. Ooh, close. That was easy because my legs were straight. Mm. And now, both of the things are bent, and yeah. because it's an overhang, I can't be too, there's no like static balance. Before it was like, You're that's totally right. static balance. There's Absolutely. No, it's done that. It's dynamic. It is. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Maybe with your legs straight, it gives you one less thing to think about, and maybe that's better. Okay. Or maybe arms straight and legs completely bent. Who knows? Eyes closed. You can okay. you can look at yeah look at the holes. Eyes closed. Okay. What do we think there? It was not a good position to catch in mm -hmm. in a million years. It, although I caught it, unless I'm super strong, I wasn't going to hold it. Yeah. So here hmm. comes a little bit of like. Uh, dynamic wizardry. Um, the position we end up in isn't always the position we want to catch it in. So for instance, down here, it's a very comfortable position. Actually, yeah. I think it's a lot more comfortable than this, yeah. um, except because our arms are straight, there's no wiggle room. So yeah. it means we'd have to catch it perfectly like this. Mm. And we just happened to catch it like on the way out a little bit, which made it a very jolty catch. Yeah. If I want to end up like this, I can catch it a little bit higher up here. And as I catch it, I'm going to relax down. If I were to try it. I did a really big dead point because I could, because the holds are good, um, which means that I had a lot of time from the moment I let go of this to move them, find the hold and relax into the position I wanted. Because yeah. the more time you have, the less dynamic it is, or the less yeah. rushed. When we hit this position, our job is not to stay there. We're not going to tense up. Because right now, even though you missed the hold, what we did is we moved into position and stopped like this. Now, the hold was here, but we stopped here. And so then we went <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh, that was so mwah. much easier. That Perfect. was just lovely. And I missed it as well. It's like, I'll get uh -huh. there eventually. Let's yeah. pick a spicier one. OK. Right? We're going to go from these two for now with our foot here and here. I'm being extra mean. Ooh. And we're going to go to here. Now, this yeah. foot is going to have to push off a little bit. Right? Yep. And we'll have our hands to help us push off and go over onto this left foot. All okay. Right? And then we can dunk two hands into this one. Let's remember <laughs> the whole point of this is that the consequence of it not happening, us missing the hold, nothing. What we're going to do is we're going to climb into this one. I want you to feel how far over your hips move compared to your foot. And then how extended are you on this leg? So this foot's not going to be on here because this foot's going to be starting down there. What? Yeah, yeah. So you're going to catch it like this. Remember what you told me about the belly button thing earlier? Yeah. Belly button thing. Oh, Your God. belly button may be here. It's going to be starting somewhere here. It's, it's not that big, is it? So I'm here. Close yeah. my eyes. That's really good. Do you know, that's much <laughs> harder than what I'm getting you to do, by the way. <laughs> but no jumping needed for my thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what I'm noticing? Your left foot is coming off before we miss the hold. So we push off this one. That creates all the energy we need to go up, right? Because we're shifting our body, our weight from down here to up here. Got to get the energy from somewhere to move that weight. That's the leg. We don't want to use our arms. That's going to like be really hard. And this leg's really high, so we can't really use that to go up. Yep. That's the leg that does it. Yep, yep. The job for this leg is to make sure we don't go back down. Yeah. Right? And right now, I think the only, well, the only way we do that is by like holding our weight on this leg, right? And like throughout the move, right? Yep. And I think right now we're just touching it. We're not actually putting our weight on it. it the fear of all the dinos to me is smacking my head in the wall. I feel like I'm launching my head How close do you think you were to the wall? Ah, yeah, you moved it in all the way. That's not where you were before. <laughs> before, when we climbed into this position, we were very comfortably out here. And now, when you check to see how close the wall were, you did this. <laughs> oh. So, yes, it is very close right now. Right. <laughs> and yeah. I wouldn't feel as confident in doing that either. Being able to like stand, like put weight through the foot, doesn't make anything 
more um, dangerous or more likely that you hit anything. It just gives you more control throughout the move to feel you losing balance or you coming close to the wall. Okay. If both our hands are off and our foot's off, that's the only thing that's touching the wall. And that, or like the only thing that's on something. Yeah. That's a great like indicator to yeah. say like how close I am to it. Yeah. Eyes closed. Nice. I'll show you exactly how you're moving. Okay. And I'll show you why that's hard. So currently we are square onto the wall. Yep. And when we relax to get ready, we go down. And then now we kind of need to go to the side because even though this hold isn't very much to the side, we need our weight to go over this foot. Yes. So we need to move our weight to the side. Yep. And if we're down here, the only way to do that, like during the movement is to pull with our arms. Yeah. That's, That's hard, what I was doing. scary and tricky. That is okay. none of the stuff we want. Quick tip okay. is when we're here, instead of going down here, let's go down here. So that when we go, because our body is off balance here, it wants to go this way. Right. All we need to do is push with our legs and our body's gonna go to the left on its own. Very, very rare that we wanna use our arms to pull at all. Okay. Like almost ever. Yeah. The only thing our arms do is timing. We choose when we let go of our hand and that gives us the direction we're going in. Yeah, nice. You know what was much better? You had both hands there. Yep. Now we still need to move a little bit more here and I think move our hips a little bit more in because right now when we tried to catch it, you know, when we put our yeah. hands, we're out like this. Yeah. You yeah. want to be a little bit closer. Out of curiosity, how are you trying to bring your hips into the wall? Pushing my belly button into the wall, pushing how? my hips into the wall, using that leg to push. No. Basically, this is going to be like the general rule for every dead point ever, like ever oh. in the history, like every single <laughs> dead point ever. Yeah. All right. Good. Um, the key, which I, you, you already understood this because you told me this before, is to start far away yes. so that we can move in. The dead point, the amount of time we have during the dead point is how long it takes for us to be out here. And once we let go of our hands, how long does it take for us to come in and then back out b before we start falling, basically. We're always looking for more time and that's why we can start further out. Yeah. Now, the trick is the time starts when we let go of our hands. So yeah. if we start very far out and we let go of our hands when we're close to the wall, yep. doesn't matter. So we need to find a way to pull ourselves into the wall without our hands so that they can let go as early as possible and then that gives us loads of time. Yeah. Um, the way we do that is with our glutes. Glutes, glutes, oh. glutes, glutes, glutes. Okay, um, I definitely didn't use them. So <laughs> think of yourself like a slingshot where one end of the slingshot is your hands and the other end is your foot or your feet. Yep. And a slingshot, imagine when you're like pulling it back, that's us pulling back away from the wall. All of our muscles are getting stretched. And then when we come back in with our glutes, so this is like the bit that we've pulled away, we're gonna pull this in and all of this weight being pulled into the wall is gonna mean that we don't need to use the hands anymore and yeah. we can let go and it gives us loads of time. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think it gets much scarier, especially with your eyes closed, to use your arms to pull yourself into the wall. Well, like, we are doing that, which is uh, scary, uh, of yeah. course. Um, whereas if we are more out here, we're a lot more in control and we also, it also means we have like our hands out in front of our face too, which is not. Yeah. Unhandy. Oh my God, that was great. So you grabbed here. Okay. And uh, this is the highlight for me. You were stood on your leg. Yeah. You weren't going down. You yeah. were there. Yeah. You just had to be a little bit more there. <laughs> yeah. That was really uh -huh. good as well. Can uh -huh. we take one second? Mm. So we're doing a few like little like practice swings kind of, yes. which is great. What are you doing those for? What, what, what's their purpose for you, do you think? Just to remind myself of all the movements. You're totally right. We're trying to teach our brain the sequence, like the coordination, I guess, of when do I want to push with this leg? Like what path my hips follow? And yeah. then when we go, we just put some beans into it, right? Yeah. Your practice swing looks like this. And as we just discussed, Arms don't bend. One, they're tying your arms out, and two, they're not helping. And they're almost like teaching your brain, like they're confusing your brain a little bit. So you can't do the movement you're trying to do quite as precisely. Some people do them to like psych themselves up. Um, if you're trying to psych yourself up on the wall, I think it's a bit too late. <laughs> I broke my ankle doing something. And that was something where I decided to kind of like psych myself up for the sake of doing the thing. Yeah. Very importantly as well, when your muscle is stretched more than is what you're able to stretch it, it automatically wants to contract. So if 
when we do our practice swing, we relax as much as we can. And because of this swing, our muscles get more stretched. We have this kind of like rubber band effect a little bit. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. So That's one swing, perfect. you relax and you go. Poof. Perfect. We're kind of right now, we're only moving side to side. Instead, let's try go like this. Okay. So that when we let go, we're moving into the wall, but we're far away. Okay. Because we're scooping around. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, that was great. That was the movement I did not get. Mm -hmm. I, I did the scoop, but I don't yeah, know how so I did it. So you set yourself off balance here, which is by pushing with your left leg, like you end up towards me. Yeah. And then when your body wants to swing that, yeah. <sighs> you just push yourself away from the wall so that you have this nice little curb. Okay. I know we're spending a long time here, but no, no. this is the micro detail. There's something just clicked in my, in my head. Before, it's just like, just go up. Just scooch around and go up. It isn't. It's an order of things. It's push, yeah. straighten, swing round, straighten, glutes. Yeah. Oh, and let go. Yeah. And keep eyes closed. <laughs> oh my God, that was so good. I can get this. I just didn't. Yeah, I should have got that. Yes. That was excellent. Everything was there. We got our body to the right place. Yeah. Right. It was the place we said we were going to go to. We didn't fall away straight away. We had time. Yeah. It's just like one of our hands kind of missed it. But like, it was excellent. And I think the things we needed to learn, we have learned. Let's say I'm looking at a climb I want to do. I want to draw on my experience and my intuition to guess what I think that position is. Right. Yeah. And then probably it's going to be wrong but it'll be wrong by like a little bit in different directions in different ways. And then that lets me kind of like update my intuition based on my experience. I can say, okay, next time I get a similar thing, I have a tendency to overdo it. So I can do it a bit less next time, less than I think I need to. So you can use your eyes to like help you, but I think it should all come from like feeling what your body wants to do and needs to do. For completeness sake, I'll let you have one go with your eyes open. Yes! And to see what that difference is. Okay, this is gonna sound really stupid now. No. But <laughs> You're scared I, of doing it with your eyes actually, open. Actually, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, you jumped yeah, and you caught it with one hand. That's like a million times harder than what I was saying to do, by the way. Now, how crazy is it what we're capable of doing without our eyes? It's yeah. pretty awesome, right? Yeah. Sweet. Right. All right. Oh, I can't push from there. What do you mean you can't push from there? I, I mean, my leg is so bent, I don't have a lot of strength to push Oh, I don't up. need you to push from there. That, that'd be hard. Let's think about our dynamic movement. What's step number one? A dead point. What we're always, always, always trying to do when we're doing dynamic movements is make the most out of both legs. Now, you notice over there, our left leg was much higher. Yeah. It wasn't doing anything at first and it was kind of helping us at the end. Yeah. It's the right leg that does everything. Now, in this case, this one's quite high and we have a little bit more vertical movement to do. So yeah. we'll have to do a little bit of something, but think about this, when you're running up the stairs, you use this bottom foot to push okay. and then the next foot you're not like landing yeah and then pushing again okay it's carrying some of that momentum yeah. right that's the same thing so okay. i'll show you what you wanted to do by the way and that's <laughs> gonna be hard for me too so we were like this and we want to yes <laughs> that's yeah. really hard i think yeah. what we actually want to do is stay nice and relaxed out from the wall so we can do our dead point. Okay. We don't want to be too high, otherwise we can't push on this foot. Yep. So we're gonna start low. Right now this foot's gonna feel like it's right in our face. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Doesn't matter, we don't do need to do anything with it yet. It will not be in our face when we need to use it. Usually we want the knee out from our arm. Okay. Otherwise it's gonna be in our chest. Yeah. And unfortunately our chest and our knee cannot superimpose. So we're gonna be nice and relaxed out from the wall. And we're gonna pull ourselves in. Okay. I can't get the strength of this. I yeah, can't you can. get up. It's off the bottom leg. You can do it, Misha. That was great. Okay, that's possible. Ha -ha. Yeah. Who knew? Okay. <laughs> now so tell me, I... what is going to propel us into the wall? Out, glutes. Glutes, glutes. yes, so I'm glutes. glad you thought of it. <laughs> glutes, oh, I didn't think of glutes. Right, let's try it. The most annoying thing is this arm. It, it is a little bit, it's more stretch free to be honest. I didn't find it mega comfortable either. Didn't let go. Mm. It's really hard to stand up with a hand here. <laughs> so it's really important to let go of it, actually. I was using a lot of my hand to pull as well, because my okay. leg's not that strong. I completely disagree with you. And I can tell you why you were using your hand, but it's not because your leg wasn't that strong. It's a really common thing. It's about when we need to move 
over to the side. Yeah. If our dead point, if, if we're here and our dead point is only into the wall, the entire time, so our hips are going to stay along this axis, right? Yeah. We're going to follow this axis. The entire time, no matter what point in the movement we are, we are going to be to the left of this, to the right of the foot. And yes. we need this hand. Otherwise, yeah. we fall this way. We're not trying to fall that way. So we hold on, which means we need to dead point over the foot. Right. When we're here, that means we're going this way, not just this way. And once you go over the foot, this hand is completely useless. Okay. There is zero way you can tell me that having an undercut next to your foot makes it easier to push with your leg. I don't buy it. I was using a mini pinch and just <laughs> pulling it down like that. I think that just makes it harder because if you think yes. we're trying to like pull with this yeah. and we're trying to push with this, yeah. that's just making it harder, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, just having our hand there is making it harder. Trying to use our hands making it even harder. Yeah. So we need to get to a position where we don't need the hand yeah. and that's over the foot. Yeah. So Look. when you're here and we're going to think, our foot here, I want you to picture what does it feel like to balance on this foot? It's like, let's say our foot's here. We're going to be somewhere here with our hips and our hips are starting here. So we're going that way. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. So I can use the hand to pull me in. To, uh, so no, 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 we do so not. just to get that much, no? No, 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 we use our glutes to pull in. But, okay. Definitely I'm don't still... pull in with your arms. Have as many guesses as you like. I'll as long this. as you remember, these glutes, this leg, yeah. that's what's making us stand up. This leg is not doing the standing up. It is extending, but it's not doing the standing up. All of this stuff is doing the standing up. Yeah. Yeah? So. I know this must be really painful to watch, but there's so no, many no, no. things, there's so many limbs, there's so many forces, <laughs> there's so many directions, <laughs> and I love physics, so I'm actually thinking about the physics of every single move. It's, yeah, it's a lot. I need to turn my brain off and just do it. Okay. It's very relaxed towards that direction, lots of power through that bottom leg, and squeeze on the living hell out of your glutes. Yes! Ha -ha! Ten more goes by us. <laughs> now what do I do? Uh, now you do the climb. No, <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, I've kind of got the bug now. Can we do one more? Yeah, yeah, of course. So what have you got next for me, Jules? It's a similar move that we just did. We're going to start with our hands this way on this hole. And we're gonna have our left foot on the green one and our right foot on the white one. Okay. So same like kind of like offset feet, a really nice hold to start with that's pulling you into the feet. That should be really nice. And we're gonna pull ourselves to grab these two black ones, wow. but being stood up on this foot so that our body is here, nice and stood yeah. up. And these holds, we are probably gonna be very Ooh. close to balanced. So they really like, we're gonna be yeah. like touching them, but not doing much. It's super duper similar to the move we just did. You can feel that start position. You can imagine what it feels like. I want you to think, how do we apply what we did there to here? Yeah. Because it's the exact same lessons. We just need to choose how to apply them. Yeah. So, oh, it's, it's quite high knee, so which means I'm ah, going to have to what? push okay. off that. Good. Uh, that angle, I'm going to have to pivot off of this. Uh -huh. I need some outward force to get me in, so I'm going to have to do some glute action. So it's going to be left foot, right foot, glutes in. <laughs> Remember to let go of this. Yeah. I'm allowed to keep my eyes open. Oh, you are. Heaven. I know. It's wonderful. I love you appreciate this. it so much more now. <laughs> I do. I, I was thinking of doing dead point and then that, like a split second. Yeah. No, that's spot on. A that's exactly second. it. What would be very tempting in this case, if we hadn't considered, like, how do we, like, find the right position we want to be in, we'd think, okay, hold, yeah. grab. And exactly. we'd grab them with our body out, pull yeah. out on them, and fly off and land here. Yeah. And that's no way, and that's because we're looking at it and we're like, oh, grab the holds. Yeah. Whereas if we're thinking our body wants to be balanced over the foot and then we have some holds to help us stay there, that's completely different. So oh. super relaxed. And then that. Glutes, legs, all the good stuff. Okay. So. <laughs> very dynamic. I am. Did I mention I'm a static climber? But it's just like, I'm scared to jump. Yeah. I'm scared of a lack of control. But you see, it's... what you did is just harder than what we're gonna do. I know. It's, and it's not always the case, don't get me wrong, but in this case, we had to control our weight the entire time. So once that foot came off, all of that weight, we had to pull it through. Yeah. Why not just push our weight through, right? Now that we have a much better understanding of what path we need to follow and how we make ourselves follow that path, why not make our life easy? And that's what we're gonna get to. Just relax. Whip. Oh. Okay. What's happening? You're leaning like over your chest a bit more. Okay. Now, if we imagine what our path looks like, is there any point in our path where we're hunched over like this? No. No, not really, right? No, we're no, out no, here no. and our hips go through first. Okay. Right? So the problem is we didn't send it with the glutes. 
offloading the hands, yeah. it come, like the glutes mean that like our body is moving in that direction and our hands don't need to be there. I was trying to switch my foot around so that way so I can get more of a push because mm. what I find is I'm 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 sort of doing this rock over. Yeah. And I want to get can higher. I, can I ask you? Um this is like a really important concept in like terms of like timing a movement and like choosing when to do things because really like coordination is just a sequence of events, right? So push here, push there, push now. It's and not like push. everything at once. What tells us when we push with our leg, what direction we're going to go in? Stand right there, jump yep. forward. Okay, now jump backwards. How did you do those two things differently? I lent my body. And more importantly, your center of mass. Um, yes. If it's forward, I mean, <laughs> my demo stick, I love this stick. <laughs> Ta-da. Okay. This is the piston. This is what our leg does. It extends. On the end of our leg, there is our hips. On the bottom of our leg, there is our foot. If we want to go straight up, we leave our hips here. We will go straight up. They will keep going in that direction. If we want to go forward, ha -ha, we put them forward. We go that way. So instead of turning the angle of our foot, yep. if we want to use our foot to push more this way, it's a timing thing. Yes. We choose when to push. Now, everything we do has an impact. It has a pro and it has a con. Yep. Now. Here, what would you say the objective difference between having your foot facing this way and having your foot facing this way is? Uh, I won't be able to push off that at all. Well, no, I can if I'm a frog. Where are we going to be when that happens? Here. Here. And if your foot's there, oh. you can't push forward. I don't know. I think we'll be so a little bit there. more here oh. and going in this direction. Okay, yeah. Here, I think we don't need to scoop around quite as much. Okay. Because we don't actually need that much space, right? We, we need power, and we need power in the right direction, which is here. So I think we're gonna be out here, right. and we're gonna be going this way. Now, if we're frogging this way, and I squeeze my glutes, cool thing about biology and biomechanics is I'm squeezing my glutes, it's gonna go where my hips are facing. Yep. That's what they do, that's the only thing they do, um, right? So that's not where I'm trying to go. If my foot's open, if my foot's this way, my hips are facing this way, and when I squeeze my glutes, I go this way. Go, yeah. There's lots of different ways to generate the dead point. Would you like me to tell you like why the swing it's useful and then you can choose, do I need what the swing does or do I not? This is gonna be um, our like pivot point, which is, you know, like arm and foot basically, like yeah. uh, we're pivoting around here. Uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. this looks very long, but this is where our hips and where our weight is gonna be, all right? So when we're out here, if we let go right now, I'm going this way. Yes. Along the tangent of whatever arc I'm going along, right? I'm, I'm going to shoot this way, plus a little bit of gravity pulling me somewhere. All right? If I keep going, keep going, <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, yeah. right now, that tangent is pointing mostly at the wall. So if I choose to let go at the right moment, it yes, I have lots of energy now from that swing, which is great, but I can also choose to let go from far out from the wall, really. Yeah. And that weight is pointing woo, yeah. at the wall. Um, and that's what it's useful for. It's useful because we can create lots of momentum and let go of that momentum when our arms are straight. Yeah. So we're really far away from the wall. Now here, we don't need a huge amount of momentum. Like if this wall was like this angle, we would really want to do that because we'd want more momentum because we wouldn't be able to have as much time here. But because we can go so far in, yeah. we just need to go in. Yeah. We yeah, don't actually yeah. like, we can basically stay here. Yeah straight line i'm I pretty see. sure i didn't bend my arms did i i don't think i did relax your arms swish yes uh, ta -da! that was it i was trying to swing yeah that's, that's it great was. wonderful easy wonderbar right. Yeah. all right okay shall we spice it up a little bit yes. flip your feet around we're gonna start with our left foot over <gasps> here and our right foot over here okay i'm just gonna think it through now it's gonna be a swing and to stop it i might need to Put my foot against the wall. Ooh, do we? I feel like we're just looking to balance now. I would grab the jug, yep. And then cross your foot through and then place your hand. Match your hands. It'll be easier with the matched hands. Oh my God. You got it. Relax. Do exactly what you said. Hey, not bad. It's awkward. It's awkward. It is. Yep, I'll give you that. <laughs> May I ask, where you put your foot on this hold? Fully on, because I'm so used to doing a rock over move. I can understand now you probably want it there and then you pivot onto it. Absolutely. Why do you think that is actually? This is what I'm gonna ask you. And you well, me. for a start, you can push against it here. I need a bit further up because I want enough foot, enough toe over so when yeah. I swing round, Perfect. 
I can be like that it's and fine. I can pivot as needed. And on top of that, it means that throughout the movement, as my body is going up, I can be pushing with this foot. If my foot is like locked like this, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's doing jack until my hips are here, which is like at the end, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas if it's here, throughout the move, it can help support my weight. It can help oppose the hands as I do my dead point because that's important. I need opposition. You make it look simple, but it's not a case of just standing up again. That's the magic. <laughs> Oof, right foot. Perfect. Relaxed. Hey, much better. So swinging, definitely we didn't swing here. We just no. went sideways. Yeah. And the problem is you're over here. If we're just going this way, there is a point when my arms yeah. are in front of my body yeah. like a barrier. Yeah, yeah. They ain't going nowhere and I definitely can't let go of my arms. That's why I need to scoop around. You had the perfect intuition. I even should, I do that to the camera. Scooping around because now when we engage our glutes, we're going this way and we're kind of dodging the fact that our arms are in the way. It's swing, but where do you let go? Absolutely. There. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's not so. In this case, that's not necessarily where you let go. That's where you do the uh, the the dead point, where you engage the glutes because now uh, everything's pointing this way. Yeah. So. Boom. Yes. Oh, better. That was so much better. better. That was great. Have you always been into dynos and dynamic movement? Yes. I've seen your stuff on Instagram. It's just yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> I want to be able to do stuff. Yeah. Maybe not quite as much as that. Some of the stuff I do looks like really like crazy and like i think it's just like very visual some of them like it's when you like break it down to these things like they, they feel so much less difficult to do i'm quite big so it looks like i do huge things but like relative to like my size like they're not quite as far because uh, how tall are you I, i'm about six foot and i think i've got uh, i'm actually no i'm 184 centimeters because I, I got measured <laughs> by the doctor the other day i really wanted to do a little running jump somewhere Ooh. we're gonna go with our left foot against the side of the volume yep and then our right foot kind of squeezing and standing on the yellow one. Okay. And then you can balance in this position. So we can either try to stick to the balance or you can also grab these things if you want. Oh, I wanted to ask you, Jules, while yep. you're doing that. What's the furthest you've ever jumped? Like dynamic jump upwards. I could probably like go from like the start to the top of the wall or something like that. So yeah. let's find out. Wow. wow. <laughs> Wow. Jump as far as I thought. And, and in shoes. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the footholds are giant. I think it'd be more beneficial if I like gave you some of the cues yeah, uh, to avoid, you know, like hitting the wall and stuff like yeah, that. Uh, yeah. First rule: put your foot on the thing. You yeah. stare at the foot. That foot is your lifeline. If your foot touches the thing, everything is fine. If your foot doesn't touch the thing, you do hit the wall or you hit your shin. Even if we like jump from here by accident, we can still make sure our foot touches the thing. Yeah. That's our safety line. All right. Got it. Next thing is. This is exactly like running and then running up the stairs. If you do anything other than running, it's not gonna work well. It's gotta be very natural fluid. Our body knows how to run. Our body knows how to run upstairs. It knows how to like transition that weight onto a higher step. That's exactly what we're having to do. Yeah. Um, the key to making a nice natural run is to plan out the first few footsteps, typically two. You do all the pitter pattering that you want to get your feet right on this side of the marker. On this side of the marker, you just run. Look at it, you, I reckon, will want our right foot somewhere yeah. here and our left foot's gonna go here. So when we start from over here, just on this side of the marker, we're gonna look at this marker. Our left foot goes there. If our left foot lands there, it is the same as it landing on the volume. I'm gonna like make my strides really short to match yours. But um, <laughs> if we land our foot here, we don't need to think, we just go. And everything yeah. lines up perfectly. All we have to focus on is being confident. Perfect. I find it very hard to judge distances because yeah. people say step back. That's so and stupid, step I hate back that. <laughs> the wrong amount. Okay. I get, no. It's like when you see like the kids prep for like a free kick at football and they do like a million steps back, like they're planning out the number yeah. of steps. And then like when they do their strides, they're like twice as long as the steps. Yeah. It makes no sense. Yeah. Um, so, you plan this out. If you get it wrong, yeah. you just scoot it around. You, yeah. you decide. You, you, you move it around so you have a nice, comfortable marker. And the. Folks, listen up. This is important. The most important part of this is that it makes the run up not variable yeah it's the same run up every time which means we can now change the next thing so if we want to land in a slightly different spot with a little bit more speed whatever we want we can choose that i was worried about hitting my head on that uh, i shouldn't you're be you're not that tall you're fine <laughs> sorry <laughs> can i yeah yeah absolutely position? climb into it yeah, yeah. i want to go there Do you <laughs> remember what i said about the hands yeah hands oh. are the face shield <laughs> oh yeah hands in front no need to hit your face oh, wait. i didn't even think of the hands <laughs> i'll try it again with hands 
Ignore the hands. I think you'll find it easier. Yeah. yeah. Put your hands out in front of you, but don't grab the hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just in front of your face, like you're balancing on the slab. All right. I'm going to show you how you land on the volume, all right? Yeah. I want you to listen and see what happens, all right? Listen. The second is soft. I can barely hear the second one. The first one's a great big, and the second one is precisely placed. Now that's just a problem. As physics lesson time, sound is a mechanical wave. To create sound, you need to lose energy. Yeah. Um, but that's that's all the energy harder. you're losing. Yeah. You're doing all this work to run at it, and now you're like basically stomping against the wall. Yeah. So we need to land really softly so that it lets our movement carry over, right? So, do you see how I float in if oh. I land softly? Yeah. And if I don't land softly, I just get like, <laughs> yeah, stuck out yeah, here. Yeah. And more momentum. Exactly. It's that last step. That's the step that like tells you like how much you're gonna carry into the wall. Okay. So you just give it a little bit more step into it, yeah. like running up the stairs. Yeah, that was great. That was just so much easier. So, that worked. That worked. I know. I, so, uh, you're the only one surprised here. I'm, uh, I, <laughs> I'm, I was expecting this. The last thing we need to decide what is the position we're going into, and don't say balance. Don't say balance. Okay. Well, it is a so balance we... position, but I could balance like this. I could balance like this. I could... I <laughs> what are we doing with our hips, our feet? OK, hips into the wall. Yes. Actually lean against the what wall. What are we doing with our feet? Because they're like, OK, but they're not like, eh. Oh, you want me to squeeze and do the front? I do want you to squeeze, yeah. It's a Between them. less because okay. we're stood up, so we can't okay. really like. Yeah. But it is like with our toes, we're like, boom, squeezing them together. Ideally, because this has like a little flat bit here. Yeah. The more we can go over this one, the nicer the balance is going to be. Because if we're stuck here, we're going to be like, ah, yeah. squeezing really hard to make them work. Whereas if we're like, even like a few inches over, it's going to be way comfier. Yeah. So we need to make sure that our momentum is going in the right direction to end us up here. So if we run from here, mm. when I get here, nothing is making me go this little bit of way that I need to go. Yeah. Whereas if I run a teeny little bit from this angle, yeah. that's where my hips are going. They're going to here which is over this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so close. Oh, I just need to push so, so myself close. back in. Just How a little bit. How do you do that? Oh, hips. Glutes. Got more, more, more. Glutes, glutes, glutes. glutes. glutes, glutes, glutes. Oh, I didn't use the glutes. Glutes. Angle. Yeah. Oh, don't go, no. <laughs> I couldn't, I, did, uh, I don't know why I fell off. I felt yeah, like I had it. You fell off because you reached for the hole. Oh, you were there, but now when we reach up, look at what happens with my shoulders, because there's a volume sticking out. Ah! Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, that. look at okay. your feet, boom. Okay. Bob's your uncle. 30 more goes, that's it, we're going home. <laughs> no, I was wrong, I said three, damn it. That was awesome. It's all technique, that's wonderful. I'm out of breath. Thank you so much, yeah, Jules. Pleasure. That was so much fun. And I really want to use that dynamic movement yeah. like all the time. I actually you should. <laughs> got a bug. Yeah. Definitely got the bug. Yeah, awesome.